Hi guys, it, it is I. <laughs> this is the second day that I've decided to make videos. My goodness, it's a, a strange, strange set of events when I decide to make so many videos. Fetch my musket, it's crazy. <laughs> so yes, this was kind of suggested to me by my friend Adam because I was a bit sort of like, I don't know what to do videos on because I kind of just didn't know for a while. He said to talk about uh, the Spyro games, the new and the old what I like more, etc. Just my general thoughts on it. So I just thought I'd have a little chat about Spyro. I cannot really do this because I have played the first one to death. I loved it. It's a great game. It plays really well, it's imaginative, the music's great, it's fun. So I played it a lot. I know it quite well. I think I'm reasonably good at it. Um, I even figured stuff out that I just wouldn't be able to do now. Like a nice pure example is the um, the gliding area in Haunted Towers. I did that myself <laughs> with no guides. Now it would have just been like, there's a ledge over there. Can't see any possible way of getting it. There's no whirlwinds. Let's ask Google. <laughs> it's crazy. I think I was quite a clever child. Um, I was very good at puzzles and working stuff stuff out and the treetops I also did myself because of the thief. Without him the treetops level is horrendous because I played the reignited and it took me a while to remember you have to follow the, the guide or the thief to know where to go and I realised oh yeah that's because I was running around like I did this as a child, it can't be that difficult. Let's just think, what did I do when I was a child? I think I did a right turn somewhere and then did a twist and a loop to loop. <laughs> I couldn't remember. I could see the ledge in the distance. Yep, there it is, tiny little dragon. <laughs> There's the bastard. It's just started to get stuck over there. But I couldn't remember for the life of me how to do it. And then I remembered, oh yeah, you need to chase the thief. Could I chase him and keep up with him? No. On the PlayStation 1, not a problem. You just have to keep sprinting. Make sure you have to just keep sprinting. Don't take too much time to kill enemies. Just kill him and quickly sprint after him. But in the Reignited, it just didn't seem to work. I had 40 lives when I started Treetops. By the end, I had none. <laughs> it just seems to play differently. Maybe I've lost my touch, but it was a couple of levels that didn't play the same way. The Haunted Towers was the same. I couldn't do it. I knew what I was supposed to do, but I couldn't execute the jump at the end. He just wouldn't, he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't take off properly. And I always fell short of the ledge. Treetops was exactly the same. I remembered what I had to do, but I could not keep up with, with the thief. To save myself, I just couldn't do it, no matter how much I tried. So there's my opinion on it. It's a great remake, you know? It plays like the original, but it doesn't. It doesn't because I couldn't do treetops. I looked at somebody play it. I looked at them play the original Spyro because I wanted to see the original one because that's where I learned from. And I was like, yes, that's what we do, but I can't seem to get it to work. Couldn't keep up with the bloody thief for love nor money. And then when I knew what to do, I couldn't get him to jump correctly and he lost momentum and, and fell short of the gap. So I think it does play differently. Whoever created the treetops level was a sadist, a clever one. It's just an awful level to figure out. I did it though, but if it wasn't for the, the guy, I don't think I ever would have done it. How the hell would you know how to do it without him? There's a reason he's there. Because you can't do this without him. I mean, there'll be some clever buggers that just figure it out, like just look at stuff. Oh, look, there's something over there. If I, I speed my my way down this ramp and jump over there and then keep going, I can make it. So the second and the third game, it's like Tomb Raider. I played the first one to death. I played the second one to death. The third one, I just kind of didn't care. Yeah, I just didn't like them. Spyro one, uh, Spyro two and three, just didn't like them. I think because of the missions, because I love a mission. I love a side quest, a side quest. Or oh, if Miss Frodo went a bit West Country then. But the missions in Spyro 2 and 3, I just hate them. Some of them in the remastered, I just thought, do I really care if I 100% it? 20 hours later of pulling my hair out, trying to get the alchemist past all the earth shapers. Not really. <laughs> Escort missions, 
are created by the devil. I don't know why they put escort missions in a game. Who here likes escort missions? Raise your hands. Why do they test these games and think, yeah, that's not infuriating at all when the alchemist decides, I need to get this potion to Hunter, who has got his feet in rock. I don't know how. I can't remember why. Why, Hunter? Are you that much of a bozo that you've got your feet stuck in rock? My horns, no, no, I've got this horn bashing move, Hunter. Is that any good? It can smash through metal, it can smash through really strong stuff. Is this any good? No, yes, but it's Alchemist Potion. I need to get this. Yes, yes, we get it. 150 times later. Yes, I know, but you don't go left. All you have to do is leave and go left and Hunter is right there. Right there. I think there's an Earth Shaper maybe here. Well, they're not that hard to avoid really they're quite slow and they just kind of stand there doing that <laughs> anything with hunter in it by the way anything with hunter hey spyro hey dude we're on the same team you need to kill ripto well tough luck because i want to play this great mini game yeah want to play this mini game with me i heard you love mini games do you like them they're great huh you have to catch the rocks before me you have to get more than me can you do that spyro yeah first one's down now i'm gonna really cheat anything with hunter as soon as i enter and Hunter's there. Hey, Spyro! <laughs> it's underwater. My manta ray loves to swim around. He's gonna swim off in front of you. Fire these rings, you gotta swim through. He's gonna go all around the houses like the alchemist. Under here, over here, up here for some reason. Go around in a circle. Up and down and round and round. And finally he's gonna get to the exit. Doesn't that sound fun? No. Why did I never go from point A to B? Really simply. Escort missions and that one with the bloody light creatures in the third game. They made it easier by the way in the reignited. The rocks always used to come back. You know the bouncing things with the lights on their tail. I don't know what the hell they're supposed to be. But the glasses. Hello! <laughs> I need to get this bomb over there to this box to free these dragon eggs that are trapped inside this cage. I need to blow them open with my bomb. But there's loads of mushrooms which only stay down for a certain time and I'm gonna go all over the place. Oh you just don't know. It's unpredictable. Unpredictable which mushroom I'm gonna go to. I might go to the one over there. I might go to the one on the far right there which makes Makes no sense, zero sense, but I'm gonna go to that one anyway because I love to give you a challenge. You love playing these mini games with me, don't you? Okay, so you've died a hundred times of the same mushroom. I've, I've exploded because I've gone into the same mushroom a hundred times because you just can't seem to work with me. I just don't know why you don't understand. Oh, and there's a rock in the way. Oh, oh I'm not gonna go to that rock. I've changed my mind. I'm gonna go right instead into another rock. So yeah, the rocks used to come back. <laughs> But they don't. They realise that some of the games are just a little bit frigging annoying. Trouble with the trolley, eh? <laughs> Who remembers that one? Trouble with the trolley, eh? Trouble with the trolley, eh? Trouble with the trolley, eh? Yeah, Pelican Boy. Trouble with the trolley. It's not the trolley that's the trouble, it's the track. Why is there so much TNT on this track? So many walls. There's the wall in the way. Why is there a wall? A random wall just in the way. Some things you have to jump over, some things you have to blast with a cannon. Trouble with the trolley, eh? No, actually. Trouble with the track. The track actually sucks. The track is not functional whatsoever. The trolley is quite good, actually. Trouble! With the trolley, eh? Some people have flashbacks. Trouble with the trolley, eh? 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 Ah! That's all I can hear when I go to sleep. Floating pelican head going around your head. Trouble with the trolley, eh? So annoying! Some of the mini games and the challenges can just go to hell. That's why I don't like the second and third game. There's too many challenges and they're really annoying. They're not fun. There probably are a few that are quite fun. Can I remember them? No, I just remember all the bad ones. Like your third game hitting those bloody the whack-a-mole section with the yeti. The gnomes who just run around confused. This looks that fun. I'm all confused and excited at the same time. There's not enough time in that one. I don't remember what it was like in the original, but there's not enough time. There's too many gnomes. I can't whack them all because there's a gnome next to it. When we were playing, me and Marcus, we just got so annoyed and just hit the guy. The guy setting the challenge. We just sat there and hit him with our club for a good five minutes. Hulk smash. 
another dinosaur one as well where the dinosaurs come out of the eggs and then eat the cavemen because the cavemen just stand there like idiots. Hey Spyro, it's me Hunter, you love to see me don't you? <laughs> I want to catch these monkeys in this basket but they keep throwing poo at me <laughs> and I'm really easy to hit. They made the bombing one as well where you had to chase the guy on the magic carpet with throw bombs at you. He never used to hover still. He used to just fly and you had to run after him. You had to charge after him, avoiding his bombs. The third one was really intense. So many bombs. Oh, shit. Can you just, can you just calm down a bit? Just calm your tits a little bit. So he just flew and you had to just charge and hope for the best. Get the flag to the end. Because he's stolen. In the new one, say new one, in the reignited, he just hovered on the spot. I'm throwing something at you and I'm gonna wait for you because I'm really kind. You want to have a sandwich? Okay. Are you still eating the sandwich? Oh, there's cake. Can I have some cake? Okay, can I have some cake? I'm just gonna wait here, okay? I'm so glad that they realised this is annoying as tits. <laughs> Let's make it a bit simpler. Hey Spyro, we're on the same team, but you want to play this fun mini game with me? I just can't be asked with his skating either when I've got to skate. Hey Spyro, you want to beat my score? Do this many rolls in the air, as many backflips in the air, as many front rolls in the air. If you beat my score, I might give you the all. When you have to skate those rhinoxes. I used to be really good at that and I just gave up, I just couldn't be bothered. Like, no, I don't care. The third game was a lot better than the second game. There were still missions, but it was so much more fun, except the one with the mushrooms and the lighted tail little buggers. Even the monkey, the monkey was a lot better in his. What's he called? Agent 7,500,999999. I can't remember his name. But even he was really fun. I used to like playing with him, but he looks like he moves better now. He's not like really stiff. Before he was like this. Now he moves like he's got a bit of a spine, a skeleton. I think he might have a skeleton in there. How scary. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm gonna go. Trouble with the trolley, eh? <laughs> Actually, yes, it's shit, your track is shit, your shit, the level shit, everything is shit. Trouble with the trolley. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching. This was kind of requested requested it makes me seem special it was suggested when i was like i don't know what to make videos on gonna go <laughs> thanks for watching bye bye trouble with the trial